So for this week's video, well, Brandon actually is on vacation. So just me and the, the guys that are helping us out. And we are doing the big blue ball machine, which is originally a giant animated GIF tapestry that the Something Awful Forum goons created. Uh, if you're like old school internet, you might actually recognize where this comes from. It's sort of like this puzzle where you can follow the ball as it does all this crazy stuff and goes through all these different parts. So we're gonna try and recreate that in real life. We're doing some things that we haven't done before, like morphing and, and uh, trying to loop takes. So it should be a lot of fun. Basically, we divided the building up into three sections of right, center, and left. And on the right side, we have the guy throwing out the window into the dumpster, someone pulling it up from the dumpster, rolling it to a guy who kicks it. And then when we were there, we were just coming up with like, okay, maybe he kicks it into somebody, and then where's the guy coming and kicking it from? But this is just sort of the outline. Uh, the, the middle part, I'm, I actually don't get this anymore. I guess we A, B, C, and D, is four guys, and then E is inside the door, and A throws a B, that, you know, and it's too complicated. I'm not gonna just, that's ridiculous. And then the left side, we had the idea where we were like, okay, have the guy come out, throw it to me, but in the future. So it's just one constant loop there. Um, and then the bridge and the gap in front of the car have, have me doing the growing and shrinking trick over and over again. Have we ever introduced everybody? Anyway. This is Henry. <laughs> Henry's one of the guys that we've brought on to help us out with like visual effects. And hey guys, this is Ben. <laughs> Ben's the guy who's helping us with all the behind the scenes stuff and the second channel stuff. And over there. Hey. That's Lisette. She's the one helping us do production coordination and getting all this stuff together and like going out and buying a bunch of yoga balls. <laughs> for example, for this video. And one of the other nice things about shooting with this whole vertical setup yeah. is that we don't have to do like multiple layers to get the top and bottom. That's true, we you have know, the we entire have thing. The, we have everything in there just, and we just spin the camera. If you guys buy a tripod, definitely get a tripod that has this thing, that has the ball head that you can adjust and has a little level on it. Because I used to have a tripod that didn't have this and you spent like 10 minutes trying to like get one leg longer and then like try and mess it around and get the legs in the right spot to get it to all balance out when this way you just throw the legs down and you're just like all right uh it needs to be there and then it's level and then you're done so this is a liebeck tripod uh this can actually hold way heavier stuff so we're just using you know the regular cameras but if we ever get huge cameras this can hold that too so that's good so we're not quite sure what the timing is going to be i'll hold to a position i'll wait for the ball and we'll hold it for three seconds and then they'll go and if we need to we can cut out that section or extend it but we can like kind of mess the time around after we're done with it right so me on the right in the middle section had a problem. I start off with my shirt kind of low, and then after doing all the stuff, I end in the same position but my shirt's too high up. So, <laughs> so we had to track my back, basically, and put a still frame of the ending position onto the back of it in order so that it would blend all right. It's definitely the most ridiculous thing <laughs> I've done. <laughs> That's pretty good. It ended, it ended up pretty good. The hardest part about this one was matching up the two takes of me kicking the ball and the take of uh, Ben underhand throwing the ball, because obviously kicking it's going to make it go a lot faster. As I kick it, I keep those frames as it covers me, and as soon as it gets off of my body, I delete it until it gets to my head and I catch it with my head. So there's about like 13, 14 frames in between there where the ball isn't. So I took the footage of the ball after I kicked it flying towards the camera, cut it out, stabilize it so that it just looks like a ball growing and rolling towards you. So then animated the path so that it would start in the right place and then end in the right place, and that's what the motion of the ball looks like. <laughs>